welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos and food review videos. Today's video is going to be a good old Trader Joe's haul. Ta-da! It's a huge Trader Joe's haul. We spend $165 at Trader Joe's, which is, I think, a lot. I've always felt like we don't get to go every single week because it's kind of far, so every time I go, I shop a lot. So in today's video, we're going to haul all of my Trader Joe's purchase this week and also do some taste tests. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. And without further ado, let's dive into today's Trader Joe's brown bag. Repurchased item. This is the Trader Joe's multi purpose cleaner, and this is in the scent of cedarwood and sage. I feel like this is one of the best of the best cleaner that I've ever used in my life, and that includes a lot of expensive cleaners. I know, like, I used to use the cheaper ones, but I realized that I'm actually allergic to a lot of them. Like, every time in the office they spray whatever, like, the cleaner stuff. The sanitizing stuff, it just gives me really bad allergies. So these are plant-derived cleaning power and it's red, it's readily biodegradable formula. It cuts through grease and it's multi-purpose. I use this spray for the kitchen, for the bathroom tiles, for the sink, for almost everything. And it basically cleans out pretty good. And I really, really like the scent as well in the cedar, wood, and the sage. It doesn't smell like any like a cleaner. It's not like the lemon scent that like a lot of bathroom cleaners they smell like so these are really really refreshing and they're just overall very gentle very environmental friendly so i got another bottle we're gonna do some spring cleaning today is actually the day before easter so i feel like i'm a little bit late in the game for the spring cleaning but it's happening it's happening soon so if you haven't tried out this item highly recommend it's my favorite item from trader joe's i know this is not food but like it's so good it's just actually a new item i've never had this before i used to buy the trader joe's sparkling black Black tea and green tea. The black tea is with peach flavor and the green tea is with pineapple. But I've never had the Trader Joe's sparkling white tea with pomegranate juice beverage. This is definitely like a new, new, new item. I love all of their sparkling tea lines. The favorite thing about this item is only 10 calories. It's just a little bit of sugar from the juice. There's no added sugar. It does contain 5% of the juice from the pomegranate. So it does have like a little bit of sugar, but it's legible and if you look at ingredients it's pretty simple brewed white tea the juice the carbon dioxide basically and some acids just to preserve the flavor and it's just I think it's a really good series if you haven't tried their sparkling black tea and green tea definitely try this out but today we're gonna try this white tea together this very slim bottle also if you serve them cold it tastes better Let's see I just love the sound of opening a can. Interesting. You can definitely taste the pomegranate. I would say the pomegranate is a little bit strong. It's like, it's because it's sour. It's pomegranate. So it's expected and the white tea flavor is not as strong because white tea is not as strong as like black tea flavor and green tea flavor. So this is probably for people who love particularly for the, for the pomegranate juice flavor because I can tell like if you're a tea drinker and drink this, maybe this may not be the one for you. But if you like the pomegranate least tart sourness, this is actually a really good item. I can tell it's really refreshing, especially if you eat something greasy, like if you just had pork belly or anything like kind of like too oily, this will just gives you that really good refreshment. So this is definitely summer appropriate. Yeah, so it's a success. But personally, I do prefer the pineapple green tea a little bit more just because I feel like the tea flavor is a little bit lacking because, you know, white tea is not as strong as green tea when it comes to tea itself. But pomegranate is a little bit tart. I can, ooh, tart, but it's not too sour or too tart. So it's a pretty good item, especially like if you're trying to do low carb, low sugar and this one doesn't have any fake sugar it's just like some from the juice the item is also a must try item in spring and summer Ta -da! this is the trader joe's organic sparkling green tea beverage with a hint of grapefruit and mint flavor this drink is my absolutely favorite it's so refreshing if you like green tea this is so good because it's basically mint green tea 
with sparkling water and a hint of like citrusy flavor from the grapefruit. This one is so good. I think this one is like dollar and forty something cents. It's not cheap, but it's just so much better than regular green tea. Just because I feel like green tea is really refreshing itself, but. By adding a little bit of grapefruit and mint flavor and the, the carbonation, it's just bringing it to the next level. So if you're a green tea drinker and if you love sparkling water, this is definitely the one for you. And there is no artificial sweetener. It's just, it's a little bit bitter because of the tea taste, but I just love that bitter taste of the green tea. And it's not that bitter because it's, it's green tea. Black tea is way more bitter. So this one, highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. And also, I felt like... Although it doesn't contain a lot of caffeine, uh, green tea does have some caffeine. So sometimes when I feel like kind of sleepy in the afternoon, but I don't want to drink coffee, I would drink this because it does give me like a little bit of energy, but there's no jitter jitterish or not like a very strong caffeine, like concentrated beverage. So I got two more of this green tea because I am obsessed. If they're a dollar each, I would have bought more, but they're not. So I was like, let me just be more budget friendly so I bought three of these green tea I only drink it when I feel like I'm at work I really really need some energy but I don't want that coffee so I got through um I know we haven't gone to the food items yet but I just saw this item this is a Trader Joe's retinol night serum it contains 0.3% of the retinol it says it's dermatologist formulated so retinol is a vitamin A derivative it's really good for anti-aging and if you have like like um, skin textures or if you have like like me I do have like some acne marks right here if you can see marks um, some it's not really acne marks it's hyperpigmentation it's like after my acne is healed there's a little bit of a dark spot and it's basically monthly basis like every single month I get some acne and then I get some hyperpigmentation and then it got healed it's all brightened and then next month begins so I got this serum it's nine point nine dollars so it's basically ten dollars usually retinols I guess like if you your doctor prescribe it it's not that expensive but like a lot of the skincare products formulated with retinols are pretty expensive I do know that like if you're pregnant you shouldn't be using retinols because like it's pretty much absorbed into the skin it's not good for the baby or the pregnancy but I'm not pregnant right now so let me just enjoy this as I can so let me just like try out a little bit and also like if you have never used any product with retinols put it like you know behind your ear the texture feels like it's a serum base like it's very blendable it's not oily at all although it's formulated with oil retinols are really good for anti-aging and this is only ten dollars it's really good and hydrating so something about retinol like if you have never used any product with retinol I highly recommend that you don't put on your face yet like try it on behind your ears first or try it on your like hand make sure like like you build the tolerance make sure your skin is not too sensitive to it because like a lot of times like when I first started using like retinal point product like it got like it got my skin a little bit peeled and it's a little bit aggressive so just try it out make sure that like you know you're not using it like out of a sudden but I do feel like it's smoothing out my skin a lot and it has like a firming effect I do have high hope on this this is only ten dollars and if this one works then it's just gonna save me a lot of dollars from Sephora because it's only ten dollars and I love any products that contains retinol because you know skin aging is a thing I'm getting older and older I'm 32 and I have acne marks right here not marks. a repurchase item if you haven't tried this item yet make sure you try it out and of course like this item is perfect for spring season perfect for summer um, this is the Trader Joe's lemony arugula basil salad kit it contains arugula carrots almonds and Parmesan cheese with a basil lemon vinegar in it so it has a little bit of these like carrots and cheese and stuff there's not a lot of cheese but I really 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 like their dressing their lemon vinegar in it with basil flavor is just so refreshing it's the most refreshing salad dressing I've ever had in my life like it's so much better than a lot of the restaurant dressing I feel like this salad item is better than a lot of like the expensive restaurant salad because like I love that arugula it has like a very interesting bitterish taste it's kind of like a grassy but also very refreshing but 
By adding the vinegar in it and lemon flavor, it's just like balanced out that tart or bitterness from the arugula. And overall, it's just perfect texture. It's really, 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 really good. So highly recommend this one. Highly recommend. If you haven't tried this, make sure you try this out. It's the best salad ever, in my opinion. But of course, if you hate arugula, don't get this item because it's mainly arugula. It's like you can tell it's mainly arugula with a little bit of other stuff. The next item is the Trader Joe's barbecue and black pepper Toscano chopped salad. This is just like a normal chopped salad. It has like all of the chopped salad like vegetables. The only difference is it's a new seasoning. It's barbecue and black pepper Toscano. I hope it tastes good. It's actually our first time trying this item. Like Brandon really liked the black pepper taste. So that's why we're getting this. And we're also making it for our side dish for our Easter dinner with family. It's gonna be from the back. Like what I love about Trader Joe's is like if you buy things from the back and you make them, you can just say like, I made them myself. But it's from the back, but it's very fresh, obviously. So it has green and red cabbage, carrots, broccoli stalks, kale with cornbread croutons, black pepper, Toscano cheese, and the barbecue sweet onion dressing. I think based on the description, it's gonna taste good when we make it. I will film a little clip and then we will check it out together. bring it to our family dinner tomorrow on Easter. <laughs> it's gonna be from the back. I really like the Trader Joe's missile vegetable and brown rice kit, but I've been loving noodles lately, so we got this Trader Joe's vegetable and a soba noodle stir fried kit. Um, we've had this for several times already. It's really good. The noodles or the soba noodles is a little bit different from, from the regular noodles. It kind of has this chewy texture because it's not a flour. It's not a noodle made of flour. So I really like that texture of the noodles and I really like the, the whole like vegetable thing. It's basically like an Asian saute kit. Um, if you didn't notice, it's basically like a broccoli, a bok choy, savory cabbage. Like that's why another reason why I love this. It's kind of like an Asian saute kit with a soba noodle. So this one really, really good. I have been trying, I, I meant to film clips every time we make these, but I always just like eat them. And after I ate them, I was like, I needed to film a clip to show you guys what it looks like after we make them. So hopefully this time it will happen. All right guys, these are the noodles. I think we overcooked them, but this is what they look like. And we also added fish to the stir fry items. I really like the noodles. It has a great texture and I really like the vegetables as well. And add some protein, it's a really complete meal. Yeah, so this one, but we've had it so many times. It's a really good item. And clean florets, like pre-chopped broccoli. As you can tell, we're pretty lazy uh, in terms of processing our vegetables. I am so, 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 so excited because I've never tried these from Trader Joe's. I'm pretty sure I'll film some clips and also some dedicated video reviewing these items. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. So the first one is the Trader Joe's Premium Salmon Burgers. It says grill, bake, or pan fry salmon burgers. Brandon loves salmon a lot and salmon has a lot of great nutrients, um, omega fatty acids. It's so much better than like the beef burgers in my opinion. So um, we're trying to eat more seafood instead of red meat. And I hope this one tastes good. I hope this one tastes good. I've never had salmon burgers. Um, grill these salmon patties and then put it on top of your salad. Like I was thinking like this, salmon patty is gonna taste so good on our arugula salad. I think like that's how I'm gonna make it. And oh, I think I'm gonna make these tomorrow for lunch and reviewing this for you guys. And this is a Trader Joe's tempura shrimp with sweet dipping sauce. And so this is like a Asian food item. Previously, I've tried the coconut shrimp from Trader Joe's. They are so, so, so good. So what I found interesting is like with all of the Trader Joe's food, it's gonna tell you to pan fry or to bake. But the thing is like nowadays, air fryer is just so common. If you have an air fryer, just use air fryer to cook the Trader Joe's coconut shrimp and tempura shrimps. They are so amazing. Like last time we tried the coconut shrimp from Trader Joe's, I'll put the link to the, to the video in the 
description box and that one tasted so so good like you can't tell it's from the frozen like freezer like it just tasted like I went to a restaurant and that's what coconut shrimp tastes like it was so good from the air fryer so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make this one in the air fryer as well so new videos coming your way Ta -da! more frozen food items previously I tried the Trader Joe's cauliflower milkies and that one is actually pretty good and instead of using any pots we actually used air fryer and it was so good so so good but this time actually I think it was recommended by one of you guys to try the Trader Joe's kale milky I think Yankee recommended this oh I also remembered a vegetable from twitch this is your shout out thank you for the redeem so we're eating some vegetable milkies right here Okay, so Brandon is not happy that I picked this out, but like my friend said this one tastes so good. And if you look at the new ingredients, like the, what sold me on this is actually the ingredients. So the ingredients can, contains kale, potato starch, chickpea flour, sea salt, extra virgin olive oil. Like this is the healthiest ingredient list I've ever had. Like. Ooh, it's pretty good. Of course you need the starch because milky has this texture, you need that starch. But it has chickpea flour instead of like regular flour. It also has kale and kale is actually the number one ingredient. It means there's a lot of kale in this and instead of using any cheap oil, it's actually using like extra virgin olive oil, like which is very, very healthy. So I have super high hope in this. We're going to make a video for this, just for this, because I felt like this is a really healthy item. From a family recommendation from Brandon's brother, Adam, he said we have to try the Trader Joe's honey walnut shrimp. <gasps> oh, I love honey walnut shrimp, but I rarely buy them from from the Panda Express. Dude, are they sold in Panda Express? But I'm pretty sure it's sold in a lot of the like American Chinese food place. Like I like shrimp in general and I love that texture of like it's batter but not too much batter and I love that candied walnuts. I remember when I was younger my aunt bought a bag of honey walnuts and I would just go sneak into her pantry and then eat them and this happened in China and I just remember like being so embarrassed because I really liked it but like me and my mom were just temporarily living with my aunt so I felt like it's not my food it's although like we're okay to share food but like it's not something that my mom bought but I just felt like guilty but like every time I do I would just sneak in and then grab some and I just felt like I couldn't stop so hopefully this one tastes good like every time I eat honey walnuts I just thought about like me sneaking into my aunt's pantry just to try to steal walnuts <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully this thing worth it. Um, ingredients, it does contain a lot of random ingredients. So if you want to determine if something is healthy, just look at the ingredient list. The longer the list is, probably the less healthy it is. And I also saw some not very good ingredients such as canola oil, expeller, pressed canola oil. Like those are just not good but it's probably just one of a time purchase also if you look at this item each serving has 23 grams of added sugar and 26 grams of total sugar this is like way too much sugar compared to like other nutrients I would say like this is probably like a dessert on the dinner table type of thing so if you want to eat healthy maybe stay away from this item but since I want to try it so let's just purchase this and try this out to see if it actually tastes good but just letting you know it's not the healthiest thing but like if it tastes good like why not just try it maybe once this is a repurchased item we already filmed a dedicated review video I will link it down below in the description box this is the Trader Joe's shrimp seafood burger it says you can grill bake or pan fry like we've been using the pan fry uh, way to cook it because it's just easier to pan fry these it's so good like it's so good if you love shrimp like it has a really big meaty shrimp chunk inside of these seafood burgers i just love them like the only complaint i have is that the burger patties are this big like it's so small each package does contain like four of the burgers so it's not like just two so four burger patties but each ones are this big so i can eat two a meal so like if you're getting this item, just prepare that you're gonna eat two burger patties or like these are just basically kids size burger patties. If you have a kid, this is perfect size for them. But like for me, I eat two per burger or per serving. 
but each pad is only 90 calories with 13 grams of protein, no added sugar, basically no sugar, and four grams of fat. It's really, really healthy. It's like, if you want to eat healthy protein, get this one. I love these. I think I've talked about this before. This is a Trader Joe's seafood paella. I love seafood paella, but they're so expensive at the restaurant, so we got this from Trader Joe's. I would say this bag is pretty small. It's not so shareable, because every time we cook it, it's basically one bowl, and my husband was like, so we each eat kid size, but it's really like a side. It's like, if you want to share it with someone else, it's like a side dish, not like a main dish, or you just eat a whole pack by yourself. Um, it does contain quite a bit of like sodium, but it's not chew, 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 chew. So if you look at the nutrition facts, it's actually pretty good. The only thing is like, you know, it's a rice dish, so you expect extra carbs in this, but overall it tastes so good. And uh, I love to like share it with my husband just so that I don't eat too much of the rice just because I'm trying to eat less carbs. It does taste really good. It tastes like the restaurant flavor. It tasted like, like one of those things that you pay $25 for, but it's way cheaper if you get it from Trader Joe's. So really, really good. More healthy meat for my husband's a high cholesterol problem. So this is the Alaska Cod Filet Wild Cod. Um, I love cod, like Brandon likes salmon, but I like whitefish, I like cod. Um, I just felt like they're very meaty and you can actually make it, make it spicy, make it soy sauce with ginger, steam, or like you can batter them, fry them, like just so many ways to cook cod. It's just like so much creativity comes into cooking it and so much different flavor and texture profile that you can like change this really like these and those are like $12. I think it's a pretty good price as well. These are my husband's favorite. They're not healthy. These are processed meat, but it says it's minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Um, this is the salami and cheese patty. Um, patty? Platter? Cheese and salami platter. He does say that like this platter tastes so much better than the ones that you, you normally get from other grocery store because he felt like the salami is like really good, like very aged tasting and the cheese are really thick and very cheesy. But I usually don't eat those things, but he said he really, really liked them and he's better than the other grocery store. So I trust them. I trust his judgment in this since he's like eating these nonstop and that contributed to his high cholesterol. And moving on, we have so many more items. Now we move on to the snacks. The first one is the hickory barbecue flavored potato chips. Do, 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 do. So I was gonna buy other flavors of chips, but he just like wanted to get this one. Like he didn't listen to me when I voted for the other flavors, but I guess I don't eat a lot of potato chips. Like I try to eat a little bit healthier. So I guess he will be eating these. I heard about like a lentil chips from Trader Joe's or from one of you guys or one of my subscribers comments, but I couldn't find them. I felt like today when I went, a lot of things just are sold out because it's an Easter weekend. So we're gonna settle for potato chips for now, but personally I prefer lentil chips for sure. Yeah, do you wanna try out your barbecue your potato chips that you insisted to buy against my will when I wanted to buy something else. Hickory flavor. What hickory flavor? Struggling. Use scissors. Did it taste good? I just smelled it. Hold on. What does it smell like? Barbecue chips. Does it have any special flavor that you're talking about? Tastes like Blaze barbecue chips. It's nothing special. It says it's a Hawaiian style. No, I don't know. This Hawaiian is what it looks style, like. It tastes like a normal chip. You know, it's one of those good uh, kettle cooked chips. You know? Yeah, kettle cooked chips. The texture is really good, but the flavor is just normal. Right, it's normal bar. It's normal yeah. flavor. It's, there's nothing special about it. But I found a new item. This is the unsweetened dried. Thing, cherries, absolutely nothing added. Cause I wanted to buy some dry cherries, but they're like so much added sugar in normal ones. But these are just like the normal cherries. It's 18 grams of cherries. Do you think it will be super tart? Uh. This is what it looks like. They have actually two varieties. The first variety from Trader Joe's is actually with added sugar. That one, in addition to the 16 grams of sugar, they also added like more sugar to it. But this one is just cherry. It's just cherry dried. This is what it looks like. Let's try this. Hmm. It's not tart at all. I don't know why people would add sugar to this. 
it's not tart at all. It's just a good old cherry taste. Tastes like raisins. Raisins, right? It's not sour or tart at all. It's actually a really good flavor. I don't know why people need to add sugar to it. I just think it's good because it comes in a resealable bag. Yeah. I also bought two of these. These are Trader Joe's Organic No Sugar Added Cranberries. These dry cranberries are actually pretty tart and sour, but I like it. And if you look at it, there's only two grams of sugar per serving because there's no added sugar and 21 grams of fiber. This is like perfect for eating fiber like there's very minimal sugar it's a little bit sour i really like these but if you don't like that sour tasting dried fruit this may be too much but i would say like the dried cherries are definitely really good and if you like baking and stuff try to buy this no sugar added ones because like i don't i don't think they need sugar but i really like these dry cranberries are sweet and sour and there's no sugar added and the cranberries they don't contain a lot of sugar already so it's pretty low carbs and high in fiber, like high. We're gonna try this item together. This is a Trader Joe's Bamba Puffed Peanut and Corn Snacks with hazelnut cream filling. Oh, these are so cute. These are not healthy. They have a lot of sugar. It's like the whole pack has like 19 grams of added sugar, 21 grams of sugar in general. Puffed peanut and corn snacks with hazelnut cream filling. It has a filling in there, so very excited. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like peanut butter. Interesting. This is what it looks like. You can see the hazelnut cream inside like this. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. There's not too much filling but it's really, really puffy. Like, it's so puffy. It kind of tastes like the peanut butter cereal. What do you think? Yep, with Nutella on the inside. Yeah, on the scale one to 10, I would give it a nine. Would buy again. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's okay. actually like, it's like the peanut butter cereal on the outside, but it's also very, very, like puffy because it's corn puffs and a Nutella in the inside is just like so nutty together. I love this item. Yeah. This is a Trader Joe's Just the Clusters Ginger Almond and Cashew Granola Cereal. Brandon loves all of this Just the Cluster series of cereal. They have different flavors. They have the almond, the pecan. Like so far we've tried two flavors, but today he wanted to try this ginger almond instead of the vanilla almond. So. No, maple. No. No, these are ginger almond. No. Oh, I wanted maple, but it didn't happen. So there are actually different flavors. There's a vanilla almond and a maple pecan. But today, maple, maple pecan was sold out. And there's a chocolate too. This one's chocolate? No, they have chocolate. They do have the chocolate but it's one. It's not my favorite. But you don't like chocolate cereal? No, it's not my favorite. I don't like chocolate cereal. Like when adding the milk, it does taste better. But I'm just a little bit insecure about this ginger flavor in the cereal. But we shall see, right? Always put it in this thing so it stays fresh. Okay, there's a super strong ginger taste. I already know I'm not gonna like this. It's too gingery for me. Why do we need to get the right way? You gotta put it in the milk. You gotta put it in the milk. The ginger is spicy. I don't like spicy cereals. I barely eat cinnamon cereals. It's a very, very strong ginger taste. I don't think, I think this is my least favorite in the Just Cluster series, but I know some people really like ginger. Like when I first came here, one of my friends, she she bought me like ginger candies. I'm like, I don't eat ginger candies. And she's like, aren't you Chinese? I'm like, I don't like ginger. What do you think? Oh, it doesn't fit me. It's a little tangy. Yeah, it, it's spicy from the ginger. It kind of tastes like a chai tea. Yeah, it does. But I would say chai tea is sweeter than this. I don't think it's bad. It tastes better with milk, probably. Let me see. Makes it sweet. Milk does make it sweeter. I think it tastes fine. On a scale one to ten. So, maple tastes better, but. Well, maple pecan is my favorite. Well, and and the vanilla, I like vanilla too. 
This one is my least favorite. I will give it a five out of 10. It does taste like chai tea after you added the milk, but chai tea usually, it can, they added a lot of sugar too. But this one, it's not, it's not too sweet though. Like the other ones, I felt like the Mako pecan is way sweeter than this one. And I really like that pecan taste, but this one is just, it doesn't taste sweet at all, but it does, oh, it contains 18 grams of added sugar. That's crazy. I have a lot of more. That's so much sugar for not tasting sweet and spicy. I don't like this. I like this. You like this? Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. I don't like ginger in my cereal. I only put ginger when I cook. So moving on, I also got a corn snack. These are Peruvian uh, Inca corn snacks. They are so crunchy and good. They're, they do, they are a lot of carbs, but I feel like these are not fried. Uh, at least I don't think they're fried. It's not very high in terms, it's kind of like a popcorn, but like in a corn type of way. She buys these all the time. Uh, yeah, I buy them every single Got another Trader Joe's Asian style vegetable stir fry. I think we've bought this before, right? Mm -hmm. Does it come with sauce? I don't think so. I just put this in it, but it tastes good. Yeah, they're pre-cut and it's a really good mixture of bell peppers, onions, snow peas broccoli like it's just pretty convenient oh oh yeah we bought this from h mart this is the Wong korea korean barbecue sauce you can put teriyaki sauce or barbecue sauce or any sauce um for the groceries this is really healthy oh my god that ginger <laughs> granola is like choking me right here so much like the ginger crumb like it's not my favorite then we got some golden berries and blackberries they're super super healthy i've been loving to eat more berries than like apples i feel like apples are really a lot of sugar and previously i was wearing continuous glucose monitor and every time i eat an apple like my glucose just go oh like overboard but berries they have so much fiber and not a lot of sugar so it it doesn't spike my glucose as much so i don't feel like the sugar crash afterwards so i really like the blackberries and these are the golden berries and if those are better than my sweet blackberries and oh we got some for myself and some for my cat these are the trader joe's turkey jerkies these are so good they have the regular original flavor but also the teriyaki flavor they are the best turkey jerky I've ever had because other brands have put too way too much salt in there it's almost like masking the flavor of turkey but these are like in the perfect texture perfect perfect I like salt these because they're soft yeah they're very soft too they're not like super dry they're the best of the best uh, turkey jerky I've ever had in my life it's from Trader Joe's there's so many like jerky brands but Trader Joe's is the best like if you have turkey jerkies get these from Trader Joe's they have original and teriyaki it sounds like I sell them but like they're my favorite I bought two of them for work you know is my cat's favorite the this is from bench and field health food for pets holistic natural with added vitamins and minerals like it has simba on it like when i first went to trader joe's we're like this is kind of looks like simba simba may like it and simba just loves this like when we switch out food simba just doesn't eat anymore Right? He only eats this brand now because he, he's spoiled. Yeah, he only eats this brand now. Like He's spoiled. So, well, we'll give him what he wants. Like, he will still, like, eat other food if he's absolutely hungry, but... He really won't. He really won't. Like, he, and also, ever since we brought this food to Simba, he doesn't eat other treats either because we used to buy these cat treats, yeah. and he used to eat them, and now he's like, I would rather eat food than treats, which is pretty interesting as well. So, yeah, that's it for today's Trader Joe's haul. We will film some clips here and there, insert it here. And also for some of the items, we will film some dedicated review videos. So make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that when these review videos pop down, you will be notified. And thank you so, so much for watching. Comment down below what's your favorite item from Trader Joe's. I've got so many great items for your recommendations, but it makes me sad sometimes like our Trader Joe's doesn't carry some of them or they are sold out. But keep the comments coming. We will love to try out your favorite food from Trader Joe's, Costco, or Sam's. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.